Welcome back, thanks for joining. We're gonna have a look now that we've entered all the data into the return at the print options available to us. So we're gonna start again in the tax manager and open up a return that we can see in the summary here has some information in it. So if I go to the forms up the top and hit the main form button, that's gonna show me an equivalent to a paper version if you need to manually lodge, you'll see what it uh, will print out like. And the sections in here are open to actually enter data directly. That will feed back, if I go to the home button, to the main form that we're used to. So if I go to uh, the tax button up the top, let's have a look if we have rights to the templates, we can create them from there. But if I go to the print screen, this is gonna show me the options available. Templates should already be set up for client copies, internal reviews, and if you need to change those, you can change the templates themselves if you have the rights in the system to do that. Otherwise, you'll be able to change these options uh, as and when you go to print. There are some extra options down the bottom there with that button like uh, printing schedules only if they're required for the lodgement. Uh, and if you have inactive items, you can choose not to print them. If you don't know what you've changed and you wanna go back to the template, you can hit the reset button. There we go. All right. As I mentioned before, if I hit the edit button, that means I can have uh, the exact same options we were looking at before, but on a template level. So any changes I make in here, I can save a new copy or overwrite the template that we have open, and that'll go out uh, filtered to everybody in the firm. So, I'm able to preview what it's gonna look like when I print this form out. And that gives me the option as well to save a PDF copy or a digital copy if I need to send that to the client rather than printing it out. Now, if this is set for digital lodgement, there's a complete button up the top there, which will uh, lock the return, generate a code for the person who's going to be lodging, and be ready to go to the ATO. If you do come across any uh, errors, what you can do is go to the top menu here, and we have a support export. So this will generate the uh, type of file that our tech support team require. You can save that, send it off via our portal, or email support at reckon.com. 